Hi GQ, this is Sam Smith here, and today we're gonna go undercover on the internet. Let's do it. You may not believe it, but it's actually me. I have no idea what the anchor means, but I love you. I love you too, Lily, thank you very much. When I was 18, I wrote a song called Little Sailor. That song was a catalyst for my career, really. So I thought it was called cool to Call My Fans Little Sailors. And also, I was a little monster for Gaga. And also, an anchor really is a symbol of, like, grounding. It means love. Sam, have you ever tried fries with ice cream? Yes, I have. I was in LA a few months ago and I went to Wendy's and there's a burger called the Baconator. And the guy who took me there was like, you need to dip the fries in the milkshake. So good. The double Baconator, oh Jesus. I've woken up many mornings with Baconator cheese on my chest. Next, from Hadari. Sam, question, how many tattoos do you have? That is a very good question. I'm just gonna count really quickly. See. I think I probably have nearing 30 now because I'm enjoying the coverage. I never planned to be a tattoo person, actually. I got these two when I was 17, and then I got another one on my ankle. It was a really weird tattoo. I got a Spitfire plane, don't know why, when I was drunk in Malia. I want to look a bit scary. I like it when the tattoos look a bit like mask, but they actually have nice, friendly undertones. Time to fact check Wikipedia. It says, before entering musical theatre, they had been in jazz bands. This whole quote is talking about a musical I did in Belfast when I was 15. I was really focused on being in musical theatre, but I would never get the parts because I was too camp. So I decided to almost go back to my roots, which was singing jazz and covers. So I just love this idea that you just travel around and play piano and sing beautiful songs that you've written in other people's music. Smith is the third cousin of singer Lily Allen and actor Alfie Allen. So I've never had an opportunity to set this straight, because every time I see Lily out and about, it's so funny. She's like, hey, cuz, because <laughs> I think she thinks I'm nuts. It's like a claim to fame that the Allens are within our family. But now I've done my research and really, like, grilled my nan. I still think that they are my cousins, but, like, a lot further. Never Christmas with Lily Allen, even though I'd love that. Let's check Twitter. What does Sam Smith put in their songs? Like, goddamn. I put blood into my songs, though. I think my music is 100% me. I really do love songwriting, and I've really tried to work hard at my songwriting being a weapon like my voice. Replied, at Optimus Grind, it's time for a new Sam Smith album. I couldn't agree more. I'm so excited. And this album as well, like, I'm telling you, it's amazing. I feel like I've pushed the door down, because now I feel limitless in the music that I can make. Replied, now on to Quora. How does Sam Smith sing so high? Um, I punched myself <laughs> in the balls. I'm joking. So basically, when I was younger and my voice broke, I was petrified that I wouldn't be able to hit the Whitney notes. And so I kind of sang really heavily all through my voice breaking, which kind of made my voice not break, weirdly. The sound changed but I was able to sing these belt notes really high. I'm not gonna have that forever, because my voice will get older, like a fine wine. How was Sam Smith discovered? If you want to go back to the real moment, it was a man called Elvin. He took a chance on me, and he changed my life. But I would say the moment I got discovered fully was Latch, because there's still magic in that song. I think you can hear me and Disclosure and Jimmy's hunger in that song. There's just a wild energy that we captured that day. Do you remember the first time that somebody listened to you sing and they said you've got talent? Yeah, the first time someone like told me I was a good singer, it was quite funny actually. I was really overweight as a kid. The school that I was at had won an award for the healthiest eating school in the county, and they put loads of names in a hat. They took two names out, and the two kids' names they took out had to go and collect this healthy eating award, and they took my name out, which is so funny. And there's a picture of me holding this healthy eating award, like the best healthy eating one, I couldn't do up my top button. It's actually my picture on my Instagram. It's like a picture of me in my a school photo. The head teacher drove me to this uh, award thing and she was playing Tracy Chapman's album in the car and I was singing along and she told my music teacher that I could sing. And then I got a main part in the school play. So that was kind of the first time I got discovered, I guess. 
Who broke Sansma's heart and made them a star? It was a straight man who inspired in the lonely hour. I used to be in love with loads of straight guys as a kid. I didn't get the opportunity to have boyfriends or partners in school. My first memories of love was just this crazy longing for straight guys, which is pretty depressing. Reddit. Someone make them work with Jessie Ware. She's making the music they need to be making. Imagine Sam singing Save a Kiss. Uh, I love Jessie Ware's music. Jessie Ware is incredible and I'll never forget it. I'm working in a bar, just did Latch, never performed to a crowd bigger than 20 people. And I'm at Bestival, with Disclosure, in this huge tent. I was so scared, <laughs> like petrified. And something was wrong with my sound and I, I was panicking and I looked to my right and Jessie Ware was standing on the side of the stage and she ran around the back of the stage into the sound booth and she basically helped me mix my sound in my ears whilst I was performing. I was nobody at that time and Jessie was sensational. First friendly face I think I ever really experienced in the music industry. And to this day, such an incredible force for good. It would be lovely to be on a song together. It really would be beautiful. Posted. Instagram. I know this person. This is one of my fans. Underscore Sam underscore fan. How does it feel to sing it like the old days? So this was about performing Latch the other day with Disclosure. And I didn't realise that it had been just over four years since I performed with the boys. It was a wild experience, I've got to say. I kind of cried when I came off stage because the adrenaline crash was really intense. It's kind of beautiful how some things don't change. And I'm really, really thankful that me and their relationship is still so precious. Hannah underscore heart. What's something you'd love to experience for the first time again? Great question. Oh my God. My first McDonald's fry. I remember that changed my life, the day I had my first nugget. My dad took me, and I bet he regrets that day because I couldn't stop eating the bloody nuggets after that. But then also, I did my first performance of Stay With Me on SNL. Now I look back on it, it's like my entire life changed overnight. Because the next morning I woke up and people started to recognise me. And I think I was so, like, in the midst of work and worrying about the next thing that I, if I could relive that experience, I think I would. I'd really like open my eyes and look around because that was kind of the day that changed everything. Let's see some YouTube comments. Reasons to watch this video. One, Sam cites their dad and Pharrell as inspiration. Two, Sam keeps it undeniably adorable and real. Oh, that's very sweet. Every morning, my dad puts freezing cold water on his face. And I always wondered as a kid, I was like, is that why his skin's so good? And then I heard Pharrell talking about it in an interview, and it's an actual thing. So I do it now all the time. But I also use like 20 products. Replied. Okay, I'm sorry to say, but Stay With Me is not a happy breakup song. It's about yearning for the person to stay even though they're already set on leaving. Huge Sam Smith fan here. I couldn't hold my tongue. Yeah, do you know what? It's, it's very interesting. I've had people play that song at weddings. I've heard people play that song at funerals. I mean, the song is actually, it's not even about relationship. The song is about me being 19, 20, going out in Vauxhall having a one-night stand and waking up the next morning and kind of feeling a bit empty. I think that's the beauty of music, is that the music in general can just take you to the place it takes you. Next, I've written so many happy songs and they're just awful. I feel you, Sam. I'm the same with poetry, lol. I guess this is like a response to me saying that I find it hard to write happy songs. And it's crazy because four years ago, I found it so hard to the point where I would preach, like I have here, obviously and would say that the best art is the art that comes from heartbreak. But I've had a huge breakthrough on my last record and I've managed to write songs that have joy in them. There's joy in confidence and I'm feeling confident in my body, in my skin, in my opinions. Even an emotion like anger, there's a joyfulness to that because I'm getting something off my chest. It's joyful, but it's not like Teletubbies, do you know what I mean? And so I think the key to writing a happy song is being happy and then it's honest and then it's real. Replied. Harry Styles is better looking in real life, question mark. Do you think they'll ever collaborate together on a song, question mark? Angel face. Oh, this is when I said Harry was fit. I mean, come on, he really is. He's beautiful on the inside and the outside. I'm always down to collaborate with anyone. It's just important that collaborations come from an organic place. 
I think in pop music, the feature is a thing and just have people jump on verses without meeting them and chatting to them. And I find that so weird. I'd love to collaborate with Harry, but it would have to just be natural and the song should tell us who sings with us, I think. Right, George Burt. Hello, George. This video reminds me of Stay With Me. Do you think they are linked in some way? Or Sam really likes to go on walks in their music videos. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. Honestly, I love to go on walks in my music videos because when I walk and listen to music, I strut and I can just become anyone I want to. But Love Me More and Stay With Me, I purposefully did that because Stay With Me was a huge moment for me and probably the way that people know me the most visually in a music video. And I think I've confused people over the last three years with everything, gender expression and the places I've gone as a human. So Love Me More was my final chance to open out my hand and ask you to come along with me and experience the artist I've become and want to be. I wanted to basically talk to the old fans and say, look, I'm still walking down the street. I don't look that different. Everything's changed, but also nothing has changed. So come with me and let's spice things up. Thank you for this GQ. That was so fun. I hope you enjoyed it, whoever's watching this. Have a good day.